I think this is now working. So, hello there. Let me apologize for the quality of my sound. I am fairly sure that my microphone is currently, well, rubbing intensely on my clothing, producing quite a bit of annoying sounds. However, if you know me, and you probably don't, but I live under a rock, and being in that particular position, I have recently gotten to know that Americans apparently had chosen a new pope for themselves. Apparently, Joe the Demented has replaced or ousted uh, Donald the Wicked from the White Throne, and attempt at retaking the throne by force by Donald has failed, so now he's, I don't know, plotting some sort of a coup. Anyhow. In order to appease the peasants who were rebelling somewhere, Joe has given free money to each and every American out there. And apparently the dumber among them are sending or spending this money on some silly things like food and shelter because of some sort of a disease or what have you. I don't know, I don't follow politics. However, uh, the smarter among them aren't spending that money on such a trivialities or silly things, because they know that if they get vaccinated, they are going to get a free donut every day until the end of 2021, which means they now have disposable income. Which also means that I can now make a video of how all the stuff I have reviewed or reviewed or previewed or whatever the world, whatever the world, What's, uh, how is it, well, holding up in my oof, workshop of abuse? So, let's get through all the, or all the interesting parts. Starting with this Shimano MT246x30 crank set, which I have started, or reviewed, started. I'm talking a lot. This is what happens when you're not scripting your videos, you're just going from the top of your dome. Anyhow, I have reviewed this in a few months ago. So, as you can see, I am now using it on my road bike. The road bike, which is 46 by 30, and there's a 12-speed cassette on the back, and that's a Sensa Empire Pro, which I have gotten to work semi-reliably. And I'm not going to be reviewing it today, because there's a whole story to this video, and I intend to milk it for them sweet, sweet views. So initially. Anyhow. This is the crank set. As you can see, I'm using this 8-speed crank set with a 12-speed chain. And so far, it has proven to be completely reliable. You can even see that it shifts fairly well. It certainly isn't much of a problem. Shut up. And after approximately 4,000 kilometers, or about 3,000 miles, I'm not really tracking my mileage, so your mileage or my mileage may vary. It doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to be showing any signs of wear. Although there is, there is a little bit of it, but there's not much of it. As I said in the video, this is made of steel. It's not going to wear or wear out for a very long while. And there you go, this is the close-up of the crank set. As you can see, there's a little bit of wear here. You can note uh, the shark tooth or shark fin shape forming slowly. But considering that my maintenance of this bike is pull new loop, wipe it off, continue riding, I think it's holding on splendidly. And my in my opinion, if you're not searching for something lightweight, this is 10 out of 10 wood ride again. All right, this lightning setup should work a little better than the previous one, I hope. If you haven't noticed yet, I am infinitely incompetent when it comes to setting up, well, video. Anyhow, how about uh, the Bonani cassette and Alto shifter, Alto AX derailleur, and a... what was its name? S-Ride shifter, which I have installed on my wife's bicycle when I was reviewing those things, and they haven't been taken off since, and a thousand or so kilometers later, it works well. In all honesty, in my opinion, it works just fine. 
I have no complaints about this. My wife has no complaints about this. Everything works as you would expect. So obviously I'm holding to my to my review that this is an excellent product, especially for the price. See this? Uh, this is me trying new things. I still don't know what sort of horrors using this shock is going to bring up on me, but I'm sure I'm going to regret it. Anyhow, what about uh, the Zoom HB100 brakes, the caliper for which you can see here and there. I've been using them on my Ultimate Gravel bike, as you can see on the screen. And for the last, I don't know, 500 kilometers. I haven't been riding this bike as much as I would wish to, but reasons. However, for the last 500 or so kilometers, they've been absolutely flawless with one minor well, niggle or my one minor problem. I'm not going to be using water. I probably don't know the meaning of. Anyhow, because or I kind of think that the spring here in the and the piston inside is a little weak, which is compounded by the fact that this is an XL bike, so this housing from here all the way to the brake is extremely long, so considering this is a brake, this gives a little spongy feeling, and uh, the, the rear caliper isn't retracting, or isn't retracting uh, as fast as it could. I don't have this issue on the front and as you can see I am using my patented or at least explored uh, concept of using a tube as a uh, well something that to stiffen the cable around from the from the shifter or from the brake lever to the caliper. I am also using this on my road bike and it works brilliantly there. Not as well here. Uh, oh and by the way initially I was using uh, initially I was using 180-180 uh, rotors front and back, however the pads this thing came with I have... Um, I don't know whether all of them are going are, are going to be shipped with those pads, however uh, the pads, those were shipped in to me, are excellent, so I have downsized uh, the rear 240mm uh, and I can't say that I am missing any power or any stopping power. It just works. It's I am actually kind of surprised how well this operates. Also, one person or a few people asked me if uh, this is self-adjusting. If it does, it's very minor because I already had to adjust this, I think, once or twice. Probably not as commonly as you would need to with pure mechanical brakes, but don't count that this being a hydraulic or hybrid means that this is mm, self-adjusting. It's not. And in all honesty, well, it works, so no complaints there. However, I have to say that uh, this is completely superfluous. There is nothing uh, about, uh, there's nothing hydraulic about this other than uh, the actuation of those parts. It doesn't feel like a hydraulic brake. It doesn't work like a hydraulic brake. It just is hydraulic to a degree. So would I, uh, would I recommend them? Probably not, because you can get a copy of a TRP Spires at the same price as these or even cheaper, and uh, TRP Spires are great. By the way, I'm going to be making a video about servicing them. Anyhow, Spires are great, work just as well. So, that's about it. The next thing I want to talk about are the X-Cobra something something hubs, which I have reviewed also about a year ago. I've been using them on the Ultimate Gravel bike as I was developing it. They are they have about 500 kilometers on them or maybe a little more. I can't really say. I've been using them since the 3x12 bike. And if you're asking, there are still 144 engagement points. They've gotten a little less noisy over time, but they are still extremely noisy, so I don't think that's much, that's telling much. Unfortunately, after this time, although they've been used in a harsh weather, it's not something I can show, but uh, the bearings here are a little rough, which means that they are qualifying for replacement. 
and I am just noticing that there is a little bit of wobble when it comes to the free hub body. I will try to show it to you. You can see it wobbles just a little bit. Initially I've been using this hub with a 12-speed ZTTO cassette, which is half on a on a spider, so it spreads the load. However, because of reasons, which I'm going to discuss in the Sensa Empire Pro Review, I have switched to a 10-speed setup, which is 2x10, even though the initially the ultimate gravel bike, where the ultimate was supposed to be the ultimate meme, because gravel bikes are the meme. Anyhow, uh, I have switched to 2x10 and I am using a Lusco cassette, and since the since the X Cobra hub is obviously obviously has uh, aluminum free hub body, let's see how the last two or so hundred kilometers of riding treated this poor thing. Because as you can imagine, when 230 pounds or 103 kilograms of person is pushing against something that's made of aluminum. Violence solves everything. And then stuff tends to break. Let's see how, how it affected this thing. I think I need to use another. All right, 200 kilometers. Quite a bit of cyclists. Let's see how... Well, in honesty... Not too much damage here. Take a look, I'm going to zoom in. In all honesty, I expected much more damage here than... than we see. There you go. 144 points of engagement and it's surprisingly resilient although that little wobbling and last on the list of things i want to well mention today which is things as they are being used by yours truly is this pro wheel claw crank that i've been using for the last year or so and since then it has been completely and utterly 100% trouble free However, I have to admit that I'm not riding my mountain bikes as much as I used to years before. I mostly ride the road right now, because in all honesty, I have lost a little bit of, well, willpower to drag, drag myself to the nearby mountains, and I am bored to tears with bike parks, so there you go. Anyhow, it still has seen quite a bit of usage. Initially, I've been using it with a 34 in the front and 12 speed in the back. Currently it's being used as a 2x10 setup on my freeride bike and it's completely 100% trouble free. My only issue with this is that I can't put a bash guard over here but I knew what I was buying so how can I complain? Now the only thing that I can, I can give you a little bit of a pause is that the spindle, the axle, however it's called, it's made out of aluminum, so if you're using it in a really hot stuff, because I would like to remind you this is a big cross-country bike, as in the bearing replacement video I have already told you. However, uh, if you're using it in some sort of a harsh environment, like jumping or something like that, it may be not sufficient, I don't know. My only experience with an aluminum axles is on the very old Shimano LX crank sets, which had the tendency to fail after five years of abuse or something like that. However, I have nothing bad to say about this crank set, apart from the fact that I'm not using it as hard or as much as I would like to. And there you have it, a little bit of a summary of all the things I reviewed and how they are faring today. And if you're wondering, I'm going to make a video, as I said before, of the Sense Empire Pro later, because there's a long story to this one and it's kind of interesting. And I haven't yet installed uh, this thing, because the project is sup this one is supposed to go to hasn't been progressing because of it's cold out here and I'm really 
not in the mood of tinkering with my bikes recently as you may have noticed from the frequency of this of the uploads on this channel anyhow someone asked me why am i buying the cheap chinese stuff i'm currently i'm currently counting or incorporating the shimano crankset in the cheap chinese stuff okay why am i buying the cheap stuff and the reason is there you go with one exception of one dot which is the uh, sensa xrx all of the things i bought some are better some are worse but most of them simply performs perfectly fine and i have no objections to it so why wouldn't i buy the cheap stuff instead of well i wouldn't buy cheap stuff instead of going for the expensive and being certain of something when well, that's not necessarily well that's not necessarily certain the only thing that troubles me a little bit is that little wobble on the free hub on the x cobra hub we'll see how that goes and obviously bearings being dead after 500 kilometers isn't really encouraging my novatech currently has bearings that are over 10,000 kilometers old maybe even more i have this hub since 2013 so that would be something about 40,000 kilometers 30,000 kilometers and my road bike is something i use the most so it sees the most use maybe that's the reason why it holds so well because i'm grinding it grinding it to death anyhow that's a little bit troubling but other than that i have no objections to most of the stuff i bought with the exception of the sensor xrx which was trash even though i tried to uh, re uh, revive it a little or a few times it continues to be horrible uh, I think that's all I have to say about this. You see, it works. Most of it is fine. Even the zoom brakes, even though they are completely superfluous, the hydraulic part is just there to be hydraulic, it's just for sawing, not for actual performance. But they work just fine. Anyhow, I hope you like this video. I hope you're going to share it around because there's an interesting info inside. And I hope to see you on the next one, which is, I hope, is going to be a little bit bit more focused than this one because let's be honest i'm just trying to push some content out because i'm kind of discouraged anyhow see you around